Alright, this is Captain Empathy again, and this is part two of my redrum tutorial. So in the first video, I showed you how to use everything from the top down to the pitch knobs. Now I'm going to show you how to use everything at the bottom and everything in the shaded areas. So the tone is the tone knob, so it's basically a mini equalizer for your drum. So if you turn it all the way up, you're going to get a sharp tone. And then if you turn it all the way down, you'll get a dark tone. And then you have the velocity knobs. All of these knobs here point towards the knob they change, and all of them are velocity knobs. So next up is the start sample. So you have a knob here which changes what time the sample starts when you play this note. Right now it's at zero, so it plays the full sample. And now it's at 28, so it's going to play the later part of the sample. And the higher the start is, the later the sample starts. Next up, you have the number 6, which is the pitch, bend, rate, and velocity knob section. And this is a crash symbol right now. And I'm going to show you how to use these three knobs. So the bend bends the pitch. And basically what it does is it turns the pitch higher or lower. Next up is the rate, which is how long it takes for the bend to go down to the pitch. Next up is the velocity, which controls how much bend do you get. Okay, that's all you need to know. All of these um, channels are the same as ones I just showed you. You have tone, start, and pitch channels. So I'm now going to go on to the step sequencer. So what you have with the step sequencer is you have four different banks here. Um, you have A, B, C, and D, each which have up to eight different sequencers, or patterns, I guess. And so, what I did here is I just put a, the kick on one every four steps. So this is what's going on. You have just the bass drum selected. So you have 10 different sequencers here, each which go for their own sound. So if I selected the snare drum here, there's nothing there because the snare drum isn't playing. I'm going to go on to dynamics now. The dynamic is right here, and this controls how loud or how much velocity your notes have. So to put a note down, you would just choose the dynamic and then click. Next up, I have Flam. Flam plays two notes at the same time or relatively close times, and this is determined by the Flam amount. So the higher your Flam amount, the farther the away the notes are. Next up is Shuffle. Every even numbered note would go into a swing pattern. So instead of da 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 da, you have da 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 da. Next up is resolution. This controls how many beats a note or a step takes up. Right now, a step takes up one thirty second of a beat, or not a beat, a bar actually. Now it takes up one sixty fourth. And one thing to note is that you can actually automate these patterns, like I'm doing in this video. And basically, when you automate a pattern, when you change the pattern, it will turn to the next pattern after it finishes a current loop. So this keeps your drums from like just changing erratically if you just want to automate your patterns. So you can actually safely change your pattern before the pattern is over. Okay, and then finally, um, let's see, I'm going to go back to bank B1. There's nothing in this. You can choose steps by turning this up or down, or just dragging up or down. And you can uh, look at the steps you have here by changing from 1 to 16, 17 to 32, etc. So I've showed you everything about this pattern sequencer here. If you don't want your pattern sequencer to play while you're uh, recording or playing a song, just turn the enable pattern section off. And now all I have to show you is the channel 8 and 9 exclusive button. Basically this keeps channel 9 and 8 from playing at the same time. This is used a lot for hi-hats, and you can also turn this off So if you don't want it. So basically if you have, let's say, a closed hi-hat in number 8, you don't want a closed hi-hat and an open hi-hat to play at the same time. So you click this button, and whenever you play the open hi-hat, the closed hi-hat sound will stop. And whenever you play the closed hi-hat sound, the open hi-hat sound will stop. And so that is all I have to show you with the redrum. I hope this helps you with your reason production. And I just cracked my knuckles. So this is Captain Empathy. Hope you guys have a nice day, and goodbye.